All right, guys, I've been getting a ton of requests to paint the ultimate barrel golem. So here you have it. In order to replicate something like this, you're going to need about mm, $500 in printing equipment, uh, another $400 in uh, airbrush, you know, paints, uh, paint brushes. Uh, supplies like that, and you're going to need to block off about three to four hours of your time. But don't worry, you can make that money back quite easily if you go ahead and you sell the miniature models that you were. You just saw Sasquatch in there kissing uh, the barrel golem. But um, what what I was saying was, you can make this money back quite easily. All you have to do is sell the models that you paint, or you take commissions. For example, I got this particular barrel golem up on my Etsy store for $3,399. Just to think, with the fair price like that, one model can instantly make you back your investment and make a pretty, uh, you know, fair profit. The majority of this model I painted in Vallejo model color Dirt Brown. Shout out to Vallejo for making wonderful paints. Uh, I love your new color, Dirt Brown. It really allowed me as an artist to capture the essence of this barrel golem. After you put on your initial layers of Dirt Brown, you're going to want to go back and uh, do a little bit of highlights. Uh, for the highlight colors, in this case, I chose Vallejo model color Light Dirt Brown. And uh, that really uh, allows me to go ahead and bring up the ridges of each plank that is on the barrel golem. Now, what you're going to see here off to the left of this video is, uh, oh, well, there it goes. But what was there was war paints, believe it or not. This is from the Army Painters Collection. Now, while their war paints are significantly more gloopy than, uh, say, uh, more elite paints like Vallejo. If you apply yourself and your credit card and take my online classes, you too can paint barrel golems that look like this. Like and subscribe, get rid of my shadow ban.